The toss was won by England and Andrew Strauss made his first decision as a test match captain when he opted to bat first. Let's check out. Firmly struck. That's a real confidence booster for Treskothic in the first over. Four more to Strauss. Poor delivery from Umar Gold, struggling with his line a little bit. That's gone, that's gone. Big Nick, and he's waited. Treskothic has not had a life earlier on. That was an excellent decision, but he plays a little bit away from his body and pays the price. Big shout, big shout, and he's a goner. Absolutely in line. Pitch is in line. And that's out. That's just out. He's put it down. Well, that would have made uh, a huge difference to Pakistan and has, I guess, made a huge difference to England. Time will tell. Beautiful shot. Never seems to matter to Kevin Peterson if he's been beaten by any delivery. The next one is there to be hit. Very, very good time. Well, that's close. That is close. In fact, it's far too close. That is mighty important for Pakistan. After Razak has used all his experience, all his talents there to keep probing away at Kevin Peterson, he's got this to come back up the hill. And that's just too close to leave. That uh, is absolutely right. Runs just a fraction too short. Runs down the hill for Collingwood. Think this will run all the way for four. And it's a short boundary to the leg side. And... Little short, little wide this time. It's put away very well. Nicely timed. Up the hill for four. It's a lovely shot. It's a very, very nice way to go to 50. Not a great delivery from Mohamed Sally, but it uh, certainly gave Paul Collingwood just the opportunity he was looking for. And he took full advantage. Very, very good 50. <laughs> Dropped. Had the opportunity to correct the wrong Canaria. Dropped it. It's gone well in front of Spear. That hit before. Brings up his half century as well as Alistair Cook. Second 50 at Lodz. Up and over point from Alistair Cook. Nothing has gone right for Pakistan today, and their fielders have been the culprits. Flowing shot. Across the line it goes. Four more runs to Paul Collingwood to take him on to 99. There it is, there's the 100. He looked for the space, he deliberately worked it there, and that is a very, very good hundred from Paul Collingwood. He came to the crease when England were just slightly tottering at 88 for three. He took command almost straight away, and he's seen it through. They're going, they have to hurry, he's through, and a hundred, a second Test match hundred for Alistair Cook. What a moment for him. He's battled hard all day. Not been quite at his best, but he won't worry about that. Raises both arms in triumph, and a deserved hundred. Runs. Got that one wrong, Umar. Will just slightly over pitching and perhaps the wrong line as well. Races away downhill there. Bowled him. New ball does the trick. Alistair Cook with a full-length delivery from Mohamed Sami. Runs again. Again the wrong line from Umar Gul. That was a good shot. 
and with no cover, unfair. It's just over pitch, it's driven. You only have to beat the infield here. Sticky little period here for uh, Paul Collingwood, but the inside edge, the slightly involuntary inside edge, takes him on to 150. Well done. That was good work. It spun quite a bit. Well, he's got a wicket. Which can area. I'd be wondering when it was going to come. He's got Collingwood. It's a big wicket. That's it. That's four runs. That gives him his half century, Ian Bell. He's so strong in that area, isn't he? Steve Butner takes his time to consider. You're never quite sure whether that finger's going to go up or not, but it's gone up this time. Canary's got another one, and it's uh, Geraint Jones who's on his way. That's a classic shot. Great shot. That's what we mean about Ian Bell. That's what David Gow says about Ian Bell. Don't slog. Of course, caught it slip. And that in itself is uh, something of a relief for Pakistan. They've seen a few go down in the slips in this uh, inning so far. Big shout. And he has been given. Looking for two again, Harmison. And they're going. If he hits, he's gone. Well, that will be a close call. He will refer that. Bell back on strike, direct hit, and he's struggling. The important man, what does he say? He says out. Yeah. This time, run, Monty. And he's there, Ian Bell, he might even get two, but he's settling for the one, well played. He's got the skin of his teeth, he's needed all the batsmen. Look at that balcony there. Swing straight up. And, uh, he's quite fond of bowling to left-handers. In fact, he dreams about it. It's a nice shot. That's beautifully played. He's got right behind that. There's the chance that they're looking for, and it's been very nicely accepted indeed, a second slip. Oh, it's brilliantly caught. Brilliantly caught. It's a fiery delivery from Steve Harmison. There's that extra bounce that you get from uh, someone of Steve Harmison's height. Great work from Andrew Strauss and Liam Plunkett. Put the man back. Imran Farhat was on his back foot and the ball just clipped the top of off stump. Yeah! That's out, though. A much finer edge going straight through to Geraint Jones. There was the full ball, but it was a little too full. And Inzamam off the mark with a sweetly driven four. Fifty for Mohammad Yusuf. Oh, now he's off. Yet another fifty for Inzi. More swing, but it's wide and driven by Mohammad Yusuf beautifully. He really is a fluent player through the offside. Beautiful stroke. Over pitch for sure, but the balance was fantastic from Inzamam and the timing equally as good. Now then, we're pushing hard here. All the way for four. And a hundred up for Mohamed Yusuf. Goes down on both knees and kisses the turf. Oh, he's going. That's uh, what's going to change England's day around a bit. From nowhere, it seems, uh, Liam Plunkett has managed to conjure a wicket. Uh, 
How well has he hit it? Very well. That could be out. He's corrected it, and that's the thing with Steve Harmison. He might get one over on, but eventually he gets it in the right area. And with a new ball, he is tricky. It's a fine shot from Cameron Akmal. Get on it! Quick single, and that will be 50 for Cameron Akmal. Yeah! He could have got him. He has, and it's worked. That's why he's bowling. A lazy shot from Cameron Akmal. And Kevin Peterson has his first wicket in Test cricket. The partnership breaker strikes at long last. Well done, Kevin Peterson, for England. It's been a toil out there today. <laughs> Slower ball. Slightly wide and just slapped straight down the ground by a free. Didn't seem too worried by the right thumb there. There's a man there, he's gone deeper, this is good captaincy from Strauss. He dropped the mid-off about 20 yards deeper, Ian Bell is the man. That's an edge straight through to Geraint Jones. Two wickets in the over for Matthew Hoggard. And Pakistan, nine down. Edge done wide of the wicketkeeper. No slip, four runs. That is what he was looking for. Mohamed Youssef, I don't think he expected to be getting it in that manner. An edge through the slip cordon, but it brings up the double century nonetheless. Great knock. Edge done gone, it's over now. First runs of England's second innings. And in true Triscothic style, that's clattered away behind square on the offside. <laughs> Another boundary for Marcus Treskothic through the offside. Bowled him, a drag on. Umar Gol should have had Marcus Treskothic in the last over, and he gets his man now. Lofted to mid on and gone. Simple catch. And Umar Gol strikes again. That's beating the man at back of point. That's a good shot. That's a drive. Got a lot of bat on it though. Got it through. Finally he finds the gap. And finally he's off the mark. That's four again. Fifty for the captain. This is a good innings from Andrew Strauss. Something he wouldn't have been used to coming into bat as an opening batsman after a day and a half in the field as captain. Show. Gone. Gone. Saida Frieda did it. Well, that's loft to the mid-off, and gone. Tried to play against the spin there, Paul Collingwood. Short and wide. A bit of relief for Ian Bell. That's where Strauss has been excellent. And there is the boundary, it's been a long time coming. Quick through the air, he's gone straight back over his head. Will it go all the way? Not quite. One bounce, four. What a shot from Ian Bell. Yeah. 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 Call for a single, it's in Zaman. There's an appeal. Ian Bell's diving in. The throw is there. The bales have gone. Direct hit. Ian Bell has been run out, trying to get his captain to 100. Brilliant work from Inzi. No mistake this time, Andrew Strauss gets the single on the leg side. 
His ninth Test 100, his third at Lords. <laughs> Big appeal. Steve Buckner raises the finger. Geraint Jones' misery with the bat continues. 27 overs, now two for 69. <laughs> Make that three for 69. Slightly fatter, flatter, running the ball across Andrew Strauss. And finally, Imran Farhat snares one at slip. So that great debate is over. England delayed and delayed, batting for 7.5 overs this morning. Scored 38 runs, just took the one wicket, Pakistan. So here we go. Hoggard, first up. Big shout, big appeal. And he's gone. We've got a game on. Simon Torfell, and it is a, a gentle, swinging delivery. Look at England. They've had the huddle, they've had the cuddle, and they're doing it all again. That's over the top. That's going to be an easy force. Good shot. Driven away, up the hill for four. Yes! Matthew Hoggard likes bowling at left-handers. He hadn't had much opportunity after getting the initial wicket. This is the first over that he's bowled at the left-hander since that first delivery. And he... That's a good shot. It's a very good shot. Goes all the way. It's nicely played from Iqbal, slightly short wide, back cut. Very well bowled. Very well bowled. Eventually the finger comes. Steve Batner always takes his time. Well bowled indeed. Monty Panatar. The change back to the nursery end has brought uh, his first wicket of the game. Well, he's standing, he's going. Yes, finally. Good catch. It was low down. Well, they needed a breakthrough, they needed another wicket before T. He picked that up. Cook takes the catch. Well, as Nasser Hussein said, you will drag one down at some point in this over, and there it was. There you go. That brings 50 up for Lindsay. Nine innings in a row against England, he's got 50 or more. Particularly England, the initiative. As Razak decides to do something slightly different. Just bumps one over the ground. Handshakes between Andrew Strauss and Inzaman. The game has come to its uh, conclusion, predictable, I think the way that things have developed today.